Alright guys, welcome back to a new Colosseum video. We're going to jump straight into this one. 3v3 solo, we've got a 139 rope and a 137 Zachary, wow. Um, we'll tech tailing. Who are we against? Uh, 158 Kra, 159 Shram, and 155 Fog. Oh, pretty. I mean, our team looks like it's uh, actually pretty beefed out with the resistances. I am so stupid though. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I forgot to change mounts. So. Yeah, we've only got 11 AP. Uh, the mount that this is, is a Carmelian, by the way, so... It could be worse, but obviously I'd prefer to have that pushback. Okay, so... Rogue. Shram, we don't want to be grouped together for Shram and Zan. Um, probably going to try focus the... Craft first, maybe. Um, let's just buff... So hoping this video I'm going to try and put a few Colosseums into one video. Um, it's just I'm not the best with editing or anything like that and as you guys are aware I haven't really edited any of my videos um, in the past. Uh, I don't really have the motivation to go ahead and learn how to do it. I think that's a bit, you know, see this guy, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> So I used Bark, which made me unshakable, which means he couldn't grab, he couldn't pull me in. So obviously there's a malevolent trap around this this area. So let's just put on Colosseum. Okay. So Sakura is 12 and 6. It seems with really nice resistances for a 137. Probably agility. Yeah, agility. Uh, Rogue. Hmm. Interesting to tell. Uh, Probably intelligence, maybe? I'm not too sure. Could be strength, but don't really see low level strength rogues, to be honest. Okay, let's see what this Fogonaut can do. Let's hope it's not crit damage. Looks to be support, actually. Okay, armor plating. Um, so if, hope, I'm hoping that the. Oh god. I'm hoping that the malevolent trap is um, there. On this black cell because then I can move forward one use radius to swap which boosts my um, state but before that I'll probably use RK9 to buff and to reduce my rage so I don't turn into dog mode <clears throat> I'm really enjoying Ugunak to be honest and if you guys missed the last video going through the set I'm using it's a pushback intelligence set at the moment I have been thinking whether to get to level 178 for the pot sand pants as you can see, they give 8 pushback, they give 1 MP, which means you could swap out the weapon for a, a more intelligence based weapon. So maybe even like a Dark Vlad Sword or something cool like that. But when we get to 178, it's kind of, it's a bit annoying because, um, yeah, when you get to 178, it's annoying because uh, you can get put against level 200 pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to buff to reduce my rage. Yeah, and malevol so the Malevolent Trap is there. So if I use Radius, there we go. Um, and Sniff is free AP. Okay, that's good, because that gives us our Emerald Shield as well. And we managed to put some pushback resistance on the Fogonaut. The only issue is now, obviously, me and the Sakura are quite close together. So. Oh, he's going for two lethal traps. Mm, not too strong, I guess. His uh, double is going to be really strong when it explodes, though, because he's activated so many traps. Let's just see what this Sakura can do. See what it goes for. He's probably going to... I would stick to the Kra, but... Maybe he's going for Fog. I mean, it is in prey state, I guess. So he does heal every time he hits. Pretty weak. Resistance is 28, I guess. <clears throat> also, I was looking at this this account, and I have got a level 139 uh, Zella, which is actually Wisdom Scrolled, Intelligence Scrolled, nearly Trans Scrolled as well. So I'm very close to thinking about to level it up and f throw a set onto it 
And maybe this set in particular, especially the AP reduction one. Oh wow, this guy is. Okay, that's interesting. <coughs> oh wow. Okay, yes, but I was gonna throw on the set that I used for my cry, if you guys saw the video, on my Zella for the AP reduction. Um, it helped me get a bit better at Zella as well, but again, it's just a thought, food for thought, because I am enjoying Uginak at the moment, so I want to stick to this for a bit. <clears throat> I think a good premise is probably like trying to do like a road to, I don't know, Crystal or Road to Diamond, where, or even Road to Legend, that'd be pretty mad. So like each class I transition to, I have to get to, you know, that um, that level in Colo before I can switch again. I think that'd be quite fun. <clears throat> kind of gives you a bit more, um, you know, reason to try hard and win. Not that I'm not trying to win anyways. <clears throat> I assume he's going to attack. So this cry is chance, okay. Hmm, that's not good. The Shram could probably finish him off actually. Hmm, okay, so we're on Rage 2. Um, get a dog out. I don't have, oh wait, do I have a religion? didn't really do much there. Uh, the Shrum is quite far away actually, so this is good. The Rogue might last one more turn. Um, a Malevolent Trap here would be a lot of damage onto the Rogue because he's next to his spawn. So he's probably put a Sick Rat there. Malevolent there. Hmm. I don't know where else he could pull. Oh, probably up here. So the Rogue's going to take a lot of damage. And a Drift Trap too. Drift trap probably there. Let's have a look. Jeez, okay, it's not too bad. I mean, still alive, and the Fogonite can't really do much. Yeah, you got double hit on that because of breakwater. If we just keep wailing at this Fogonaut, which he can't do much, we should be okay. I mean, we can actually take it down, because um, he didn't have Breakwater this turn. He is locked as well. And as you can see, the damage preview, I can do about 700 with uh, Hunt. And my Tibia can do 5, but he's probably going to run away, I reckon. So, Erosion for uh, Uginax is actually quite good. There is a, a few spells which actually erode the enemy by quite a lot, so I believe it's Gangrene. Applies a 25% erosion for two turns, but you have to swap out your Yapper. Which for me, I think it's a bit of a... You know, it depends what your team composition is, if it's like a, just a full-on Blitz. If he was level 200, for instance, I would definitely take Gangrene, because erosion is far more important when you're that high level. Okay, what's this? He's very low. I need to get a protective pelt on him, but okay, that's uh, actually not a bad idea. It means he's gonna have to use his AP on the coward. It's not a bad move, to be honest. Um, and because he's a chance cra, slow down arrow. He, he, oh wow, he has absolute. <laughs> no way. That's a monkey on. Um, okay, so what I can try and do is. Well, I can't swap, that's annoying.
Okay. Well, that's shit. Because um, I thought I could use protective pelt, but you can't use it when you're in uh, wolf state. That's my bad. So yeah, I was going to get him a shield. Um, obviously, these guys probably don't speak much English, but... Yeah, obviously from their point of view they're going to think that was just pointless, and yeah, I can understand why it would be. Hopefully the Sakria can sacrifice, but I think I'm in the way now, so it's going to sacrifice us both. So we'll see what happens. Because if the rogue... Can you... Embetara Passitor. I have no clue what that means. Okay, let's turn off creature mode. Okay, that's good. I think. The Shram has got very low resistances and he's dealing quite a lot of damage, so if we can just focus the uh, Shram. But obviously the Fogonaut can um, lifesaver. Yeah. First aid. Oh, GG. Fuck's sake. Yeah, he did ask him there. Um, can you sacrifice? I have no, there's no way I'm killing this ram. Um, yeah, I think we just lose this one. The Kraken probably just. Oh, I'll just trap, okay. Probably retreat and slow down. Yep. Fuck off. Ay ay ay. It's pretty annoying that I didn't equip the right mount because I would have had one extra AP there. But again, there's not much I can do. Um even with the resistance I have for strength, he can still deal a lot of damage. So, I can't really do much against this. Um, the Sakura could probably finish him off no matter where he goes, because he's agility. But I'm definitely dead to the Kra. If I could survive one more turn, you might actually have a chance, because I can protect his pelt and heal. But. It depends if he uses sacrifice. Nope. Okay. He could use it, he's got free AP. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, the crass little dodges, that's annoying. Okay, yeah. I can't really do much against this, I'm afraid. Avec A or B? I don't know what he's saying. Oh, I just want one more turn, that's it. AP, he can definitely kill me. Oh. Okay. A sailing, maybe? Oh, wow. Um.
confused what's happening. If the crow has atonement, oh shit, the crow has atonement. So the crow has atonement this turn, which is a double powered atonement because it was used the previous three turns ago. So even with my shield, I might actually die. Um, but Fogonaut needs to move for the Sacrium, which I think he's going to do now. Yeah, he's going to swap with it. Yeah, so obviously the crow is now. I don't know what he what he's saying. <laughs> Um, he can definitely kill me, I'm pretty... Oh, wow, a heal. Oh my god, the heal. This is actually so nerve-wracking. Heal. 1,000. He's got 7 AP to hit 1,000. Hmm. Confused why he's doing that. Nah, I'm think I'm dead. Damn it. That's my bad, I think. I shouldn't have radius twice. Um, I should have gone for. Because I thought, I thought I would have healed a lot more. Um, if I just went for a hunt or something, I could have done more damage. But uh, he got Breakwater as well. He actually does 100 damage. And I don't know why he wasn't attacking me before. Okay, the Kraken definitely kill me now. <laughs> if he can't, I'd be quite confused. We got 9 AP to hit 700. If he doesn't kill me, I can heal. Oh my god. I'm really concentrating now because um, it's annoying because I know for a fact that Crack would have killed me, but he didn't, and I don't know why. I don't know if he's just he didn't know he could kill me or what, but he definitely could have. Um, he doesn't have atonement for another turn, so even if he disperses me here, which he might not have, he might have reprisal, but if he disperses me, then he can. Uh, I can kill the Fogonaut, actually. I mean... Oh, no, never mind. I have shield as well, um, so I could probably shield this turn. Depends how much I heal. Oh, wow, 2 AP, never mind. That's so shit. So 9 AP, I can use Protective Pelt, and then use Wolf, okay, this is good. Protective Pelt is free, yeah, okay. I'm gonna stay here. So we, 
we're really controlling our rage at the moment, as you can see. So my rage is, if I use one more range, uh, rage attack, I will transform. But I'm saving it so I can heal myself of appeasement, because that reduces my rage by one. If I obviously went f into dog mode, I won't be able to use my ranged spells, so that's the reason why I'm playing a bit safe. Oh, I can definitely kill that. Oh, never mind. Okay, he's got a torment arrow, but he's got absolute acuteness, let's remember that, and he's fully buffed. 8 AP. He still doesn't kill me, oh my god. He's not going to go for a slowdown arrow, surely, because he would hit his teammate. I'll be a s absorb absorption arrow, maybe? Okay, that's not bad. So, we're going to go for a heal. Nice. He should be able to finish. Yep. Come on. He can definitely finish with a free AP spell. Very good. Nice. Okay, so now it's just the Kra. Um, my technique against the Kra is to just get Prey State as soon as possible. I can't really do anything because I've got two turns to wait, but his buffs have run out now. So wherever he runs, which is probably up here, that's actually good for us because... As you can see, we healed for, what was that, 130, and we got the Emerald. Uh, now we can swap with my Yappa. I mean, he could have done. I <laughs> don't know why he used all his MP. Okay, and he's going to swap, maybe. I mean, just have to hit it, really. I mean, we could. I don't know why he did that. So we weren't, we weren't actually healing from hitting the fog and all when he was in prey state, which is something I'm confused about. Slow down arrow, maybe? Oh, mobilizing, okay. Hmm. Some pro moves right there. Set the Sakri up. Now we can get some decent damage on this guy. He's got a Tormant up, but he can't kill both. He can't kill any of us either, because yeah. he's got to use his AP to release himself. So he's got to either retreat arrow or, or lashing. And then he'll have to hit me. But you shouldn't kill me. Oh, he sacrificed me. I didn't even notice. Sweet. Okay, so if we radius and then jaw, we should go dog mode. And then we can use hunt. Big damage. And then move here. And then now two dogs. GG, that was a really good game. Um, yeah, the comeback, the comeback. That's a 25-minute Colosseum, guys. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna put another. I don't think I'm gonna put another one on this video. Um, and we ranked up to silver. What was that nine? Yeah, silver nine. Wow, that was a really intense game. Hopefully, you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think the the turnaround was really good.
But uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll record some more videos for you guys, and hopefully we'll get the client to gold today. And yeah, uh, thanks for sticking around, and stay tuned for the next video.